Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I sure appreciate you stopping by. We're at Tugaloo State Park and we have got a really cool site. appreciate you stopping by we got a lot of fun stuff lined up for us for in this video we are currently traveling back to texas we went to visit family in north carolina we left salisbury north carolina and drove south and we drove through south carolina and just across the georgia state line is tugaloo state park that's a strange name but it's the name of the river tugaloo river Lake Hartwell is on Tugaloo River. So anyway, to, to bring it all around, we're at Tugaloo State Park. And we have got a really cool site. Except for all the trees. And I can't complain about the trees. But it kind of blocks the view of our lake. And it's kind of a long way down. But Trudy standing tall in site number 77 our amenities include a wooden picnic table kind of a lantern hook the ubiquitous kind of sort of lantern hook place to burn some wood or charcoal and cook a steak a lake view sort of it's better than none at all i'm not complaining it's a gravel site these sites cost $40 a night. You'd think they would have sewer, but they don't. Gravel sites, so I made sure we used our pads. And this level is not in the vocabulary here. I had to block up three wheels before we engage the jacks. Otherwise, we'd have three wheels off the ground. It is water. It's, we've, we've got a cable connection. They said, I was looking for a 50 amp site and what I got was two 30s and a 20. Two 30s and a 20. I was looking for a 50 amp. One of the park volunteers drove by. And I, I mentioned that to him and he said, oh, you can buy a combiner up at the store. It's really too late in the day for us to go running around and seeing stuff. So we're gonna relax, enjoy listening to the boats that we can barely see. And tomorrow, my friends, stay tuned, more to come. Today's video is sponsored by CampgroundViews.com, the cutting edge technology in trip planning for your RV trip. You wanna know what that site's gonna look like? They have got you covered with 360 degree views of every campsite. They currently are focusing on recreation.gov campsites. They have completed all of the West Coast and are in the process of getting all of the East Coast campsites. And then they'll be moving into the central United States. But they have an early bird special that I'm taking advantage of. And I recommend that you check it out and, and see if it fits with your budget as well. Because this technology is what we RVers have been dying for. We'll be able to see exactly what the sites look like. No surprises when we get there because of those 360 degree views. So my hat's off to campgroundviews.com. The link is in the description below. I encourage you to go check out what they're doing and see if it's right for you.
All right, let's go back to what we were doing. Tugaloo State Park, Georgia. Check this out. Man, this is such a beautiful lake. It's a lot, a lot of fingers, a lot of creek channels, river channels. We are at the boat ramp in the courtesy dock. Hopefully nobody will want to launch their boat. Cause I'm parked in the street. Look at this. You can't have pigs. So here's the boat ramp. It's not a real big one. It's a one liner. But it's a busy one. Cause yesterday, man, there were just non-stop boats all over the place. All right, let's go see what else we can find. This, this is a really pretty park. I wish I had my, I wish Little Red was running. There are a whole lot of golf carts in this, this here state park. Lots of golf carts. All right, let's go see some more stuff. Tugaloo State Park actually has cottages available. So if you want to visit Tugaloo State Park and you don't want to sleep in a tent, and you don't have an RV, well, you can rent a cottage. They're all tucked back into the trees. They have air conditioning. See a little balcony. There's actually a dock that's shared between two cabins. They share a dock. All right, well, let's go see some more stuff. Cabin number seven, Tugaloo State Park. Check this out. And look at the view for crying out loud. These cabins, some on the other side of the peninsula. Tugaloo State Park is on a peninsula. And I'm on the other side, I'm not sure if it's, I think it's the south side, maybe the east side of the peninsula. But I'm on the other side of the peninsula from where I was on that last clip with the cabin set on the, the steep slope. These are, easy to get it's easy access to the water here we're gonna walk down here to the private little dock for the cabin if i was driving a car traveling north or south on 85 and i needed to spend the night somewhere around atlanta i sure wouldn't be looking at a hotel i'd be looking at tugaloo state park cabins Watch your step. So if you have your own boat, you have your own private dock. How sweet is that? Man, all right. Let's go see some more stuff. Tugaloo State Park. Hey, if you're bored, you don't want to go swimming, you don't want to hang out and fish or anything like that. Well, by golly, they got a miniature golf course. Of course, this doesn't seem to be open right now. What is, what is, why do we got to leave our litter when there's a trash can right there? I swear, people are just pigs. Now, there's also volleyball. You have to pardon the grounds crew. Can't get mad at them for doing what they do. They keep it looking good for us. This is the day use area. We have the miniature golf, volleyball, a really cool playground for the kids. Lots of porch swings for mom and dad to hang out on. A swim area. I think this is like a snack bar. Of course, it's it's Tuesday, July 6th, 2021. 2021 is Tuesday. So they're closed. At least right, they are right now. This is a sweet little beach, though. Lots, lots of group gathering places here at Tugaloo State Park. All right, let, let's go see some more stuff. I just saw a family headed over to the miniature golf course 
with their own putters and balls. Hint, hint, clue, clue. Just don't put into the last hole. All right, if you, if you, one of those people likes to run around swinging a, a racket and whacking balls, they have got tennis courts here at Tugaloo State Park. I don't happen to be in that category, but you might. Tugaloo State Park. It's a beautiful setting. Great place to hike. And they have a couple of, of interesting hiking trails. I'll put up a, a better map that I've, I'll, I'll pull off the internet. But the, the Muscadine Trail, that's, we're at one of the entry points to the Muscadine Trail. Uh, it's the, I don't know how long it is. But the, the Muscadine Trail is, it encompasses most of the park. All right, let's go find some more stuff. Tugaloo State Park. Hey, if you're out here, this is a really cool little lake. A lot of inlets, a lot of creeks, a lot of boats to rent. So you don't have to bring your own. Don't have to bring your own boat. You can rent one here at the park. All right, let's go see what else we can find. Tugaloo State Park. All right, so this, this is the pavilion to be used by the tent campers. I'm actually in the, in the tent camping loop, so you can come up here and you can charge your, your devices. Now there's a nice path that would be fun to scoot. If I had a scooter, it goes down to the number two the number two comfort station. So you can you can tent camp. Let's go see a yurt. Tugaloo State Park actually features, for your pleasure, yurts. How about a yurt? These yurts actually are air-conditioned yurts. They have a picnic table, fire, everything you need to camp in comfort. And then some. This is called Beachside. Have a light. So the critters don't get you. Is it locked? It is locked. Anyway, we don't need to go in there. I guess we don't need to go in there. It's locked but it has an air conditioner. And it has a deck that looks out upon the water. So there you have it, a yurt.
State Park. So if you're coming out to Tugaloo State Park, be advised, they don't have, if, and your RV is a 50 amp rig, they don't have 50 amp. If you want to run both your air conditioners and your microwave, you need a 50 amp service. And when we arrived, what the pedestal has, I showed you earlier, there's two 30 amp receptacles, two 30s and a 20. Progressive Industries, the same company that produces that, that produces and sells my surge, my preferred surge protector, that right there. Progressive Industries makes a, a combiner or a Y. So and when you've got a setup like this, where you have the 230s and the and the 20, it combines those to give you that'll actually give you 60 amps but you can put a a 20 amp adapter on one of these and plug it into your 20 amp circuit and get a little more juice now when we arrived one of the park hosts told us that the park store sold those they didn't they, I don't know if they ever did or but they're out now if they ever did uh, but one of the uh, park technicians he said walmart would probably have that so the nearest walmart is 14 miles away so i ran into that town uh into the walmart no they didn't have it but on my way out of the walmart there's a ford dealership right next door and that Ford dealership is Mike Jones Ford Lincoln. Mike Jones Ford Lincoln. They got a Winnebago sign in there in front of the dealership and some RVs in their parking lot. And I thought, well, perhaps they can point me in the right direction. So I went in and uh, to the service department and said, hey, here's my situation. And he said, oh, come on back here. They have everything you need for your RV. So if you're in this area around Lake Hartwell and you need RV parts and you search RV parts on Google, the nearest thing is like an hour away. That Ford dealership, Mike Jones, has got what you need. You don't have to drive into Atlanta or wherever to get parts. Just so you know, just advising you, making you aware. Tugaloo State Park, we're about done here about four o'clock in the afternoon but not much else gonna be happening here not cooking outside because i'm eating food that we cooked before we left so we can just heat and go i will say it's a lot more pleasant here today than it was yesterday when we arrived the number of boats on the lake is substantially less yesterday it was just loud lots of boats today not so many the park is actually really quiet there's not any road noise here there's not any airplanes flying overhead so the only noise issue that you have are the boaters and they there's not very many of them today and there's certainly not any riding around with the, the really loud sound system it's hot and still today there's no wind here Fortunately, you know me, I always carry my own wind. I think Tugaloo State Park is a great destination as well as a, as a really excellent waypoint stop. Much better than sleeping in the Walmart parking lot. A little bit pricey though, at, at $30, $40 a, a site for not having full hookups is kind of pricey. I think it's still worth it though. Way better than sleeping in the truck stop parking lot, listening to the trucks idle all night long or hanging out in a Walmart parking lot with the dreaded, with the potential of the dreaded knock. So I'm glad we stopped. Pretty country, very pretty country. So if you're headed down, the, headed north or south on 85, north of Atlanta, I'd encourage you to pay a visit to Tugaloo State Park. It's a good park. With that being said, we're done here. Tomorrow we roll out early. We gotta get through Atlanta. Hopefully we can do it before rush hour. Maybe not, I don't know. 
we're gonna get to the other get west of Atlanta we're gonna pay a visit to Oak Mountain State Park in Alabama it'll be our first campsite in Alabama I'm excited about that and the 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 park looks pretty interesting on the internet as well so remember to click on that subscribe button so you won't miss that video in about a week or so for those of you who have been following along thank you i'm so deeply honored really that's that's why I, that's why i get to hang out in places like this thank you very much for that and for my patron you guys rock y'all come back now you hear